Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Today I'm going to show off to you uh, one of our new kits that we designed. This one is uh, a combination lock based on the LS7222IC. Uh, what I've got here is a fully assembled kit minus these LEDs. I've placed them there for, as indicators. They do not come with the kit. What comes with the kit is all the parts you see here uh, and a PCB. Now I'll be going through the schematic and uh, assembly instructions, but first I'll just give you a quick tutorial on how to use the board. The board is the buttons are labeled 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, star, number sign. So you can reprogram it, and there is a default code. There's actually three codes there is a disarm code, a duress code, and an arm code. The disarm code is 1251, the duress code is 1252, and the arm code is 1254. So you've got five different signal lines lock, disarm, alarm, arm, and tamper. VCC and ground, there are external VCCs and ground uh, that you can solder to. The VCC is for a regulated five volts and ground is just your common ground. Uh, right here you can you have your V plus. It's not a terminal block size, you have to solder to it. V plus is seven volts and, and higher and it's regulated to five volts through the 7805. So let's turn it on. There are three codes. There's a disarm code, a duress code, and an arm code. By default, the arm code is 1254. So let's press that. That pulses uh, a single pulse to the arm LED, uh, or to the arm output. So you can interface this with your microcontroller. Uh, the pulse width, or the, the length of the pulse, is determined by uh, one of the onboard capacitors. Uh, that actually happens to be cap M, so feel free to look at the uh, data sheet. Cap K, the, the other 4.7 microfarad capacitor, uh, uh, is deter determines the entry time of the keypad. So you can alter that too. Cap M and cap K, if you want to, if you want to uh, customize your circuit, you can change cap M and cap K. So anyway, we've done the arm code. Now let's try the disarm code, which is 1251. That pulse is a pulse to the disarm pin, and it turns on lock. So if the the lock the lock pin. So if you have a re, you can have a relay circuit attached to this, uh, a relay driver circuit, and you use the lock pin. But anyway, so let's press the the uh, duress sequence, which is one two five two. What that does is it turns on disarm, or it turns on alarm, and it turns on lock. It pulses to disarm. I'll actually show it to you one more time. One, two, five, two. Quick pulse to the disarm, and alarm and lock both turn on. So let's uh, turn on our let's arm it again. One, two, five, four. Turns off everything and sends a pulse to the arm output. Now, if I type any of the, any of the, anything wrong, one, two, four. You see that a pulse went to the tamper bit. So you can set up all of these different. Uh, these different pulses to these different uh, lines to your microcontroller and customize how you want your combinations lock to work. Now if you want to reprogram it, it's actually quite simple. When you enter in a new uh, code, what you first of all what you have to do is you have to enter in the uh, the current disarm code which is 1251 and then star star relatively quickly. So let's type that in. 1251 star star. And the programming LED turns on. So when the programming LED turns on, it means we have to enter six digits. The first uh, three digits, uh, or sorry, the last three digits have to be have to be different because they're representing three different codes. If we enter in say one, two, three, four, five, six, for instance, then one, two, three will be the common first digits of our last of our of our, our three passwords. So if we do one, two, three, four, five, six, then one, two, three, four will be our arm code. 1235 will be our disarm code, and 1236 will be our new duress code. So let's enter that in just for, just for the sake of entering it in. The program LED is still on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Programming LED turns off. So let's enter in 1, 2, 3, 4, which should be our new arm code. Pulse goes to the arm output. Let's type in our new disarm out co output or code, which is 1, 2, 3, 5. Pulse to disarm and lock turns on. Let's arm it one more time by pressing one, two, three, four. 
arm pulse. Now let's do our use. Uh, let's type in our, our new duress code. One, two, three, six. There we go. So if you wanted to enter in another code, let's say, let's try it one more time. All right, since our new uh, our new uh, disarm code is one, two, three, five, we're going to do one, two, three, five, star, star. Our programming LED comes on. Let's try four, 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 five, or seven, eight, nine. 444789. So our new ARM code is 4447, our new disarm code is 4448, and our last, our duress code is 4449. So let's arm it. Let's disarm it. Let's duress code it. And that's, that's, how you, that's how you use it. So let's quickly go through putting this together. So here are the parts required to build the kit. Two 4.7 microfarad capacitors, one 100 microfarad capacitor, one 200 picofarad capacitor labeled 201, one 0 0.1 microfarad capacitor labeled 104, green 5 millimeter LED, red 5 millimeter LED, LS7222 IC, IC socket, a 7805 uh, 5 volt regulator, four 10k ohm resistors, two 4 470 ohm resistors, one mega ohm resistor, 12 buttons, and of course the PCB. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, the I mean, the resistors, I'm going, to, I'm going to throw together, I'm going to put the LEDs on, and I'm going to put the buttons on. I'd like to add with the LEDs that the longer pin on the LED, the longer leg is the positive, the anode, the shorter is the cathode. And now there's two LED footprints here. Place the longer leg in the side that with the with the plus sign on the right hand side. That's where the longer leg goes. So our red one will go on top, or green one will go on the bottom. Another design note: you're going to fight with these with these buttons a bit. You just got to force them in. They'll go in, but you will have to fight with them to get them nice and even. Uh, with the capacitors, with our 200 picofarad capacitor, we just put it in the holes. There's no polarization. It's a ceramic cap. You can put it in either way. It's fine. Same goes with the 104, which is the 0 0.1 microfarad capacitor. All other capacitors, the two 4.7 microfarad capacitors, the longer leg is the positive and goes in the same hole as the positive indicator. So the left hand side in the case of C2, which is 4.7 microfarad, and the left hand side in the case of the 4.7 micro microfarad capacitor C3, and in the case of the 100 microfarad uh, capacitor here. We want to make sure that we place the longer legs in the side with the plus symbol. So I'm going to pl put all these capacitors in and the LEDs. Well, then we'll quickly do the regulator and the socket. So everything's in except for the socket, the IC, and the regulator. For the regulator, place it in just like the footprint. So it aims like that. We'll solder that in a minute. For the socket, Make sure, make absolutely sure that the notch indicated right here on the footprint matches the notch on the socket. Because when we put the IC in, the IC has the same notch, and we're going to want to follow that notch as an indicator. Otherwise, we'll put our chip in backwards. So I'll solder those in, I'll put the IC together, and then I'll show you the schematic. And so that is your fully assembled combination lock kit featuring the LS7222. Let me turn it on and show you the soldering. And there you go. So there are vias all over the place. Don't worry about them. Don't touch them. If for those of you who don't know what vias are, they're little holes that connect the layer on the front to the layer on the back. You'll know where to solder to. Solder to the places is indicated by a component. So now all you need to do is take a red wire, solder to V plus, take a black wire, solder to V ground or to ground. And if you have a, uh, you need about a seven volt source, seven up to a thirty volts. Really, with the 7805, we'll regulate the output to 5 volts. And you'll have an external ground and VCC, five, regulated 5 volts, to interface this with your another board, say an Arduino or uh, a relay board. And you'll have these 5 outputs to work with. So now let's quickly look at the schematic. So this is the schematic of the LS7222. We've made some variations to the passive components that the data sheet uses. So what this is missing is the 5 volt regulator circuit. We have a 5 volt regulator, an LM. 7805 regulator on our on our board and that regulates to 5 volts so everything here is being powered by 5 volts so 
pin 20 is, five, is uh, our power supply pin, which is connected to 5 volts. Pin 1 is connected to ground. Pin 2 is our oscillator pin, which has a 200 picofarad capacitor uh, between pin 2 and ground, and a 1 mega ohm resistor between pin 2 and VCC, which is 5 volts, our power supply line. Pins 3, 4, 5, and 6 have uh, 10k ohm protective resistors on them that protect against ESD, and those are on the X lines of the matrix keypads. Pins 7, 8, 9, and 10, we have buttons on the Y portions of the matrix. You don't see a button here because typically the, typically the user has only 9 buttons, but you have the option of implementing 12 buttons, a whole other rail here, which we have done. So up here we have our program LED, 470 ohm resistor protecting it, or current limiting resistor protecting it. Pin 19 is our lock indicator with a 470 ohm resistor protecting it. We have cap K and cap M, which are both 4.7 microfarad capacitors. And you can exchange those with higher or lower values and based on what you want for your key entry time and your pulse width time for the arm and disarm signals. And lastly, we have our tamper, arm, alarm, disarm, and lock signals that are all going to test points on our board. Very simple. You can put this together yourself. We have all the parts necessary. We have the kits available at www.engineeringshot.com and electroniclessons.com. Hopefully you found this cool. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask. Thanks for watching, everyone.